Have you been late on a credit card and the next month your score went down a lot of points? In this video, I'm gonna teach you why that happened and what you can do to bring those scores back up. Stay tuned. Welcome guys, welcome back to the video. If you're new to the channel, I'm Credit Coach Q and I created the first cloud-based software that allow you guys to fire your credit repair companies and put your companies in your own hands. Guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, guys. Hit it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment on what your particular situation with late payments and why those particular late payments are affecting you in your credit repair journey. Guys, today I have a banger. I have a awesome guideline on how you can evaluate late payments and how you can get those late payments removed and potentially get those scores back up. So guys, let's dive straight in. So first of all, late payments is very, very important in terms of your score because it makes up 35% of your score, right? Make, late payments make up 35%. And when it comes to the full pie chart of your credit, uh, of your what makes up your credit, payment history is 35% is the highest ratio out of the other uh, factors that makes up your complete score. The payment history is the highest ratio. So when you miss a late payment, you can potentially bring your score down um, almost 100 points. You know, um, average probably 50, but in some situations, even 100 points. The higher your credit score, um, the more points you're gonna lose when you make that late payment. So what a late payment is, a late payment is basically an account that you have been late on for 30 days. So if you had a, a payment that was due on the 16th, right? And you pay it on the 20th, that's not considered a late payment. It's, it's considered a late payment within the financial institution that you're um, working with, but it's not considered a late payment with the credit bureaus. The credit bureaus only report payments that have not been passed due for longer than 30 days. So guys, if you have been longer than 30 days, you probably had a late payment appear on your credit report and have been pulling your hair out trying to get it removed. Now guys, in this video, I'm gonna teach you some, some tips and tricks on how you can remove those late payments in the best way uh, for your particular situation. So I have a, some different options when it comes to the removal. It really, really just depends on your situation. But first and foremost, if you have any hopes to getting the late payment removed, the first thing that you need to do is actually fix the late payment, right? You need to make sure that you are fully uh, up to date on all your payments when it comes to uh, the financial institution that you are uh, have a late payment with. You need to catch up with all of your balances with that uh, financial institution before you even start this guideline. Okay guys, so make sure that you are all caught up first. Second, once you have been caught up, you can navigate uh, removing the late payment in a lot of different ways. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys a sequence on how I go about removing the late payment if it was my personal uh, situation. I have removed late payments in my past. No one is perfect. I have been late on credit cards as well. And these guidelines are the particular guidelines that I use to get these late payments removed. So the first thing that I do is to see the, um, the institution that's reporting the late payment, right? Um, the second thing is I'll see if they have a chat box available. Right. So go on their website, see, uh, log in if you have a login credentials. After you log in, see if it's a, a, a chat box available um, with that uh, particular institution. If it is, hit the chat box and start. Um, open up a chat with a rep. Right. And basically, be as nice as possible, guys. The whole process of this is you being nice as possible. This is not like a collection or a charge off or anything like that. This is 
probably a situation where you are still working with this particular creditor and you've been late and you don't know what to do because you're still with them so you can't really dispute it and act like it's not yours because you are still with this creditor so the first thing you want to do is log in hit the chat box see if anybody is available go into the approach as passive as possible be as nice as possible to the representative make that guy your friend okay um talk to about uh, talk about your situation in particular because every everybody's situation is different everybody's situation has different circumstances but in this video um is really focused on around getting the items removed uh because of COVID, you know, everyone has been in the COVID space right now and has been suffering because of COVID. And a lot of people has been having late payments um, because of that particular situation. So the, going in and the approach of using COVID as an excuse or not an excuse, but as a, a method of getting a hardship um, agreed to with the creditor, for them to remove the late payment. So hit the chat box, tell them your situation and see if they can do it. Now guys, if, if someone tell you that they cannot remove the late payment, that's BS. That is not true whatsoever. And if they tell you that they basically is pulling pulling your leg, that is not, it is not um, an accurate description of the power that they have. They have the power to apply late payments and they have the same technology to remove the late payments, but it, was, it really depends on the method that you're doing it, right? So you can't send out letters to the credit bureaus, right? The credit bureaus um, do have the power to remove the late payment, but like I said, if you are still with the institution, you can't dispute it with the credit bureaus because you are still regularly working with this creditor. So try to focus on going to the actual creditor that you are running late with. Now, um, first, like I said, hit the chat box. If you get uh, a hit a wall with the chat box, um, I'm going to navigate you into another another direction on getting uh, the items removed. But the chat box has been very successful because in my opinion, because of COVID. COVID has been helping a lot of people um, create hardships and get items removed because every, the whole world is sympathetic because of COVID. So uh, hit the chat box. If you hit a wall and someone say, I cannot do that, exit out of the chat box and, this, and go into this next step. The next step will actually be going into the direction of calling the creditor. Calling the creditor and basically talking to a live repre a, a representative and telling the situation, go into the same um, sequence that you went in with the, with the chat box. Um, you have a higher ratio of getting the item um, fixed or removed, talking to a live representative uh, versus talking to a chat box, okay? Um, now, if you hit the same wall with the chat box and the live rep, I want you guys to take this approach, right? The newer the late payment, the harder the late payment it is to get removed, right? So if you have a late payment that is only two months old, that late payment might give you a little bit more trouble of getting it removed than um, an older late payment. Um, now, in regards to fixing late payments or never getting a late payment in the first place, uh, payments, the minimum amount due for that loan or creditor um, automatically deducted. Automatic deductions is what the real credit professionals do in terms of never getting a late payment and maintaining that 800 score. Getting auto deducted means that you never have to worry about that and the more credit that you have available, the harder track record that you're gonna have to keep for that particular debt, right? So you wanna make sure that you are possibly getting the, um, the payments automatically deducted so you won't have to worry about those guidelines. Now last, but not least, the most effective way of removing a late payment from your credit report is actually sending out a hard copy hardship letter, right? Now, in this particular video, I wanna focus on the narrative of COVID like I, like, like I spoke about, but I don't 
Um, but you can use the hardship letter for any type of excuse or any type of reasoning behind your hardship, right? Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into the back office and show you guys the actual hardship letter that we use in our back office in the most powerful one to remove late payments. Guys, stay tuned. I wanna give you guys a, uh, a quick breakdown uh, of the back office and to show you the actual letters that we're using and why they're so powerful. So basically, the first thing that you wanna do is uh, get to the screen. Um, if you are signed up with the service, it should be fairly easy to, to navigate to the screen. Just click Start Dispute and click Next, basically, after you import the, the report and get to the screen. Um, you don't wanna click the recommended option because you are disputing a late payment it's not a collection or anything so you want to click round two because you want to have full access to the all of the dispute letters um and you want to scroll down till you see creditors late payments COVID 19. so in this case we are um using the COVID 19 um hardship reason because it is yielding so many results guys i cannot tell you how many of our do-it-yourself clients are getting results with removing the late payment by using the COVID 19 method okay then you scroll down until you see an option to choose between the credit bureau or the creditor you want to click creditor and then you just want to find you want to find a you want to find the 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 debt that has the late payment let's choose anyone for in this matter it doesn't matter uh let's do lnv funding safe answers no, let's do toyota because that's actual a car okay let's do toyota and you was late with toyota for 60 days and click next and toyota there you go toyota is ready um this will be your first name your address your social your date of birth and Toyota and account number. Um, this is the verbiage that the letter has, guys. Now, again, guys, I want to let you guys know to basically customize the letter as much as possible. Using templates in your credit repair journey can damage it a little bit because the credit bureaus are all using a system called eOscar and eOscar scans every template that you have. So if you are using a template from another party um, or a template you found from the internet, nine times out of 10, it's been used a lot. And the verbiage that's in that, this, that template is not going to give the same punch that the, that the first person that used that letter, if that makes sense. So you want to always customize these letters as much as possible. You can add some font, you can uh, make the font bigger, you can change the background, you can do anything to this uh, letter to make sure that the letter is different. You can also put a statement that makes it sound like your voice. You can say, please guys, I need help. Uh, blah blah blah. You can just make sure that the that the software uh, and the letters within the software that you are customizing them as much as possible. Now, this is the verbiage of this particular letter. It says this: To whom make a sign, writing you in regard of the past due uh, payments on my account for the dates. Blah blah blah. You want to put the dates there. First, let me say I'm thankful for the opportunity to establish an account with your company, as you pretty much can tell by my stellar payment history. But due to COVID-19, within the past eight months, things have been rough, and unfortunately, I fell behind. Now that things, now that those things are back to normal, my credit score took a hit with like the late payments. My other companies gave me a courtesy late payment removal, which have helped me and my family tremendously. So I'm writing you as a goodwill attempt to ask, would you be so kind to update the payment, the late payments on my account from the dates mentioned above. Guys, this letter has been magic. Guys, you can screenshot this and actually uh, use that screenshot and write it out and send it out manually, or you can sign up with the service guys we are running a dollar trial and i'm telling you guys this removing a late payment from your credit report can literally cost you i mean can literally help you improve your score up where to 100 points from 30 to 100 points guys so removing the 
old derogatory payment history is very, very important, guys. And guys, doing it for a dollar trial can literally uh, pay um, for itself in gold, guys. Now that I showed you the back office, I want to go back to the other video. Guys, stay tuned. Now guys, if you have any late payments on your credit report and you wanna get these items removed yourself, you don't have to, you don't have to contact a credit repair company, you don't have to contact your cousin pool or your friend cousin pool that fix credit or anything like that, you can do this yourself. You do not have to depend on anyone fixing your credit but you. Guys, the software is very user friendly, it's very easy to navigate through, guys. And we have live reps on standby to help you navigate the, uh, the software as easy and seamless as possible. Guys, until next time, if you found this video any helpful at all guys please hit up the like button and leave a comment on the late payment scenario that you having and possibly i'll uh reach back out to you and to see if i can help you out in your particular situation guys until next time take care of your credit and take care of yourself bye